being around the whole year. Bye. And uh, yeah, to you, Mike, in Peru, in two hours, Happy New Year <laughs> to you. Good that you have arrived. We're, we're all in South America. And um, John said he's setting his alarm. <laughs> Take care. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Happy New Year. On 1st January, we hit the road for a first visit to a Sorno volcano. But before that, on our way to the volcano, we tried to get near the Calbuco volcano. Calbuco volcano has an elevation of uh, 2015 meters above sea level. The uh, volcano and the surrounding area are protected within the Yankiwa National Reserve and that's where we drove through. The most recent eruption happened with little warning on April 22, 23, 2015, followed by a smaller eruption on April 30th. This was Calbuco's first activity since 1972. Calbuco unfortunately was hiding behind clouds. We therefore decided not to stop and follow the unpaved road back to Highway 225, a direction of Sorno Volcano. We're driving around the lake here uh, in the Pantanas uh, region. So there's the, there's the volcano. Yes. Osorno Volcano is at 2,652 meters or 8,701 feet tall conical strato volcano lying between Osorno province and Yanquihue province in Los Lagos region of Chile. It stands on the southeastern shore of Yanquihue Lake and also towers over Todos Los Santos Lake. Osorno is known worldwide as a symbol of the local landscape and is noted for its similar appearance to Mount Fuji. Osorno is one of the most active volcanoes of the southern Chilean Andes, with 11 historical eruptions recorded between 1575 and 1869. Here we are. Here you got him in the back. The cone is in the back there. Hello everyone. Walked up about a third. I don't know how reception I is. No, I'm visiting. And uh, we're lucky because the cone of the volcano just, uh, the peak of the volcano here just, uh, just opened up. It's starting to get very windy. I'm trying to film this, uh, this part up there. So we are on the volcano that I've shown before um, from um, down there. So we came, we came from down there with the car and did this and went over to this volcano and then drove back all the way and then this way here and then we came up the volcano right now. Obviously we're not on the top but uh, we're about uh, midway. The day before visiting Osorno Volcano, we actually planned for a day trip departing from Puerto Varas along Lake Yanquihue to La Arena, take the ferry to Calitapuelche, then drive along Roluncavi Sound to the north, passing Cochamó, which is supposed to be a picturesque town. Los Ladrillos, Ensenada, and then the return to Puerto Varas. The whole trip was planned to take approximately five hours. However, after leaving Caleta Puelche and driving approximately 15 kilometers to Yahuepe, the weather turned bad and we had to turn around back to Puerto Varas. In the middle of nowhere, and for 68 kilometers, we'd need uh, how much? Three hours. So I'm not quite sure we're going to do it, but what we'll do is we'll go to the coast.
ferry, I guess. Best way to do it. Okay, here we are. Finally arrived at the point in Queon Viejo. It was uh, not too difficult to find, but finally we got here. And who can guess where we are? What is this so special about this point here? Um, we are at Quito Cero, fin de la carretera panamericana. So this is the end. Milestone of the American uh, Pan American Highway.